welcome to the Pooch Parenting Podcast, a podcast for parents with dogs. I'm Michelle Stern, a certified professional dog trainer, mom, and former teacher. Living with kids and dogs at the same time can feel like a circus. I know because I lived it too. Join us as we interview a variety of experts and parents to discuss topics that will make parenting with dogs easier, safer, and less chaotic. Also, you can love living with your dog again. I'll always keep it real which might even mean that you hear the messiness of life in the background on occasion, but at least you know you're not alone. In today's episode, I'm going to make a pretty grand statement about the biggest mistake dog moms make before adding a baby to their family. Get ready. Now, I know it's a little bit controversial to say there is only one mistake that people can make or only one way that people can be amazing because obviously there are shades of gray here and we can all do better when we know better. However, there is a common mistake that I see in a lot of families, some who come to see me as clients and some that I hear about on social media or as referrals from other trainers. And that mistake is that of assuming that your dog won't feel or behave any differently when baby arrives than they do now. Now, we have to think about this from the dog's perspective. If the dog has never lived with kids full time, we have absolutely no idea how your dog might behave in those circumstances because they've never been in that situation before. And this is something that as new moms, we can certainly relate to because I don't know about you, but I was a very judgy mom before I had kids of my own. And then once I was in it, oof, man, I had so much more empathy for everybody else, but I had never done it before. And so it would have been unfair of me to expect that I could have predicted exactly what might be coming ahead. And your dog is in that exact same situation. So even if you have a perfect dog or a dog that's amazing and has been super well-trained, We still can't just make the blind assumption that your dog will remain that awesome and that amazing once your baby arrives, because there are a variety of things that can go down that impact that. And we're going to dive into some of those. One of the issues that we see commonly with dogs who are having a challenge adapting to new baby is that they are very used to a pretty strict schedule. And so when you've got a baby in the house, the schedule definitely changes and definitely becomes more flexible based on the needs of the baby. So for example, if the baby has a full diaper or even worse, a blowout diaper, you're not going to stop, pause, wait to change the baby's disastrous mess so that you could feed your dog at five o'clock on the dot because that's what your dog is used to. So there are going to be some times during the day that your dog needs to wait for things. And for some dogs, that is a really difficult ask. And as a consequence, their behavior may change. They may fuss, they may bark, they may whine, they may even get a little bit destructive because they're bored and they're waiting for your attention. Another common challenge that I see in dogs when babies arrive is that they really struggle at the lack of attention that they're getting because the parents are so focused on how to survive with a new baby. I don't know about you, but I remember being surprised that the hospital was ready to hand over my baby and send me home with no adult supervision because I really didn't know what I was doing and I had to figure it out once I got home. But in that figuring it out process, our dogs are sometimes left waiting and wondering where all of their attention went. So for example, my dog now, at five o'clock every evening, he knows that he gets to play a game of tug with my husband. But if my husband was busy with a baby or changing a diaper or feeding the baby, the dog would have to wait. And I know for my dog in particular, that would be a really big challenge for him. And so when our dogs are sort of sabotaged in a way by this new bundle that we bring home and that sort of takes over our household, our dogs can really experience stress. And some dogs might even experience a little bit of what we perceive as jealousy because they're not getting the same amount of attention, exercise, physical and mental stimulation that they used to be getting. 
You might be wondering how all of these topics relate to a mistake that dog moms might be making before baby comes home. And the simple answer is that the lack of preparation really is the main mistake, is sort of the wearing rose-colored glasses as a parenting strategy is where the mistake happens. But I have really good news for you. I am really excited to announce a new project that I have been working on, which is that I will be offering a free boot camp on preventing dog jealousy. It's a pre-baby boot camp for families who are adopting or who are expecting a baby. And in this free boot camp, we will talk about all things jealousy and dogs, what it looks like, and more importantly, how to prevent it. Of course, you might be saying, we really have no way of knowing if our dogs are jealous. But let's just assume that our dogs do have similar feelings to us. And so without getting too nitpicky, I will be using the word jealousy in regards to this boot camp. But the exciting news is that one of the goals of the boot camp is to help you prepare your dog for the arrival of new baby. So therefore, you'll be avoiding that big mistake that we talked about earlier. The boot camp is about 10 days long, it's completely free, and it will cover a variety of topics that you will need to know to prevent dog jealousy. We'll talk a little bit about how to introduce your dog to your baby, how to create a safe and comfortable environment for your dog, and how to manage this jealousy if it should arise. Plus, you'll get a chance to ask me any questions you may have about your specific situation, because we will have lots of time for live Q&As along the way. And of course, there will be prizes too. This boot camp is perfect for anyone who wants to ensure a smooth transition for their dog when baby arrives. So, whether you're a first time parent or you're adding another baby to your family, this boot camp is for you. I'll share practical tips and strategies that you can start implementing right away. You're probably wondering how you can sign up for my free boot camp. Simply visit poochparenting.net slash jealousy. It's that easy. And if you're listening to this episode after the Jealousy Bootcamp has ended, don't worry. You can still visit the poochparenting.net website to access a variety of other resources. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Pooch Parenting Podcast, and I hope to see you inside the bootcamp. Remember, a little preparation can go a long way in ensuring a happy and harmonious family dynamic with your dog and new baby. Take care. Thanks for listening. Thank you for listening to the Pooch Parenting Podcast. If you enjoyed today's show, please subscribe on your favorite podcast player and leave a review. But even better yet, tell a friend. Are you in some mom's groups, perhaps? Or maybe you're friendly with your pediatrician. Please let them know that resources like this exist because the information that I share with my people goes beyond what most baby books offer, and a lot of parents need support. You'd be doing them a favor. Thanks again. Have a great day.